Hello, hello, hello. It's finally time. Um, yeah. So basically, it's my understanding, uh, this game's combat is pretty shitty. That's kind of putting it mildly, from what I can gather. I am going to do my best to suffer through it, so to speak. I hear the story is fantastic, same with the atmosphere and music. Uh, however, I did download a save file off the internet, and that's what I'm going to be loading. Uh, it has apparently some good unlockable weapons that you can use. I am going to not use them at first. I'm going to try to do this legitimately, but if combat gets way too bupkis, then I'm going to be using those unlockable weapons. But this is a first playthrough, mostly blind. I have seen bits and bobs of it online. Uh, but I'm mostly blind, so we'll see how it goes. Should be fun, though. Uh, work of fiction, coincidental, expressed here, and do not necessarily result, uh, represent the company. This game is also fairly controversial, to my understanding, based on Wikipedia. And bits and bobs, uh, that I read, mainly in regards to how this game was misrepresented, and it caused a moral panic in Europe. This is stunning for a PlayStation 2 FMV. I don't 
I've always mean to play Legend of Dragoon. How's it going, kid? <laughs> this game caused a moral panic in Europe, Kip. It was unfairly uh, misrepresented, from what I've read. It's QTEs and Legend of Dragoon, that's wild. Also, this is a really lengthy uh, pre menu FMV. I'll, I'll read it when the opening cinematic is done. But basically, um, the long and short of it is, uh, somehow people heard about this game, and then they, they, they had the wrong information and then lied about it. And that was enough to start an uproar. My name is Joshua. I will serve you, princess. Just kiss me, please. Really lengthy pre menu cinematic. <laughs> All right. So, yep. Uh, the reason why that this uh, caused a moral panic was. Uh, Rumors of violence towards children in the game, tied to a larger discussion of morality and violence in video games, appeared in the Italian magazine Pero, uh, no, Panorama in November 2006, and were quickly picked up by British media, which alleged that the game had scenes of children buried alive underground, in-game sadomasochism, and underage eroticism. And all of those allegations were completely un untrue, and unfounded, and not, not real. So basically, you know, a bunch of people in the mid to late 2000s heard about the game and they, they did the whole basically like Mass Effect has graphic porn in it, you know, where, where, where they, 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 
they hear something and they they, they lie anyways uh as i was saying at the start of the stream uh apparently the game is uh, kind of infamous for having really shitty combat so to circumvent that i have downloaded a full game save off off the internet uh even though i've never played this before um as far as I'm aware, it has some of the unlockable weapons. I'm going to not use them until I get to a point where I get frustrated with the combat and just want to speed it up. So I'm going to do my best to play it legit without using the unlockable bonus weapons. But if uh, if I do get stuck, I'm going to resort. Well, let's go. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl, her friend, the princess, princess of, of the, the red, red rose, rose, was always at her side. Then one day, her mummy and daddy died suddenly, and the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. Jennifer, Jennifer, play with me, Jennifer. Read the story. Please, read the story. What happens next? What's this? My luggage! March 1930, The Little Princess. The Little Princess Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. Her friend, the Princess of the Red Rose, was always at her side. Then one day, her mummy and daddy died suddenly. The princess, too, disappeared, leaving the girl all alone. And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. Suddenly, the girl was all alone. And so the story begins. A mysterious, unthinkable, filthy tale. However, the young girl, Jennifer, had no choice but to surrender to the unsettling predicament. Oh, what an unlucky girl. All right. It's, yep, cool. Uh... Bus stop, Rose Garden Orphanage. 
Hey, Gino. How's it going, dude? Strange Hill. I don't know. I don't know too much about this game. I know bits and bobs. Uh, but I don't know a lot. I do know that the game is apparently very, very depressing. Like Silent Hill 2 levels of depressing. And that the combat sucks. Even for PS2 survival horror standards. As the girl approached the sign, she heard a dog's bark. It sounded strangely familiar to her and beckoned her to come. This is, of course, running on emulation, Strange Hill East, uh, because this is also one of the rarest PlayStation 2 games of all time. A used copy can easily be upwards of, like, $500 to $800. It's an old padlock on the door. However, it's not locked. Hey, home skillet. Don't forget to contribute Garmin Bosia for the next wheel spin. We could land on Omicron. A slip of paper is tied to the dog collar. It's a slip of paper with boarding pass and the picture of a fish on it. Jennifer found boarding pass. The name Brown is on the dog's collar. Don't you laugh at me. About saving, you can save your progress by talking to the bucket knights located throughout the game. Cool. You little shit! Yeah, it's very expensive, home skillet. I would love to own a physical copy of this, but I also don't have enough money to buy a physical copy of it. Because a physical copy of this game is over, like, $500. <clears throat> because it's obscenely rare, and it has never been re-released on any platform. Uh, and it's never been released digitally. So if my options are never play it, or spend $500 on a used copy, none of that goes to the developer, or emulate it. Following the boy up the road, I'm going to emulate it. She came upon a huge old mansion. For some reason, this place seemed familiar to the unlucky girl. <gasps> Leave that sack alone! Children with bags over their heads are beating something with a stick. The unlucky girl was frightened and backed away from the gate. See you, little shit. <laughs> Laugh at me. Yeah, I hear you fuckers. <laughs> Snickering little shitheads. I'm 
No one allowed without a pass. By using items at certain locations, you can use items to interact uh, with your surroundings. From the menu screen, choose the item select to use. Easy enough. Uh, a little princess boarding pass, dog collar. I like this chalkboard menu. That's a really cool, unique uh, aesthetic. Hello? Rear gate. I want to explore. I don't want to go there. I don't want to follow that little shit. Legend of Stray Dog, Stray Dog kidnaps kids. The door is locked. And the laundry is left out in the night. Never to drive. Oh yeah, no, I, I feel too. There's very few games that uh, I would spend over $100 for. Very few. Mostly collector's edition type stuff. Because uh, I don't have that kind of money. Legend of Stray Dog. Stray Dog gives us sweets. Wish it did. You know. It would be like financially well off. The cages are stacked up. Are animals being kept here? I could just, you know, only scream. Like, I would love to buy a physical copy of this, uh, regardless of if I wind up liking it or not, just because, why not? And I, I would absolutely love to buy a physical copy of Haunting Garden. I wonder what sort of spooky shit we're gonna get up to. There's blood. I cannot interact with the gate. Clearly they want me to go inside. Is there anything over here? Nope, just just bushes. Entrance this way. I believe this developer's only other game was Tulip. Which I have also not played. A game about kissing people. <clears throat> oh, shit kids laughing at me you little fuck <laughs> The unlucky girl felt the chilling gaze of many eyes upon her. Yet she was all alone. Ah! You fuck! Sure. Rubbish bin tied tightly with rope. Oh, wait, no, that looks like there's doors over there that I didn't interact with.
Uh, what's your question? Why is that PS3 emulator you need a really good PC? I don't think I understand the question. Many bulging sacks are piled up in a heap. It smells awful. This is a PS2 game, by the way. <coughs> Dying? Weird. But I do know, uh, I mean, like, if you're asking about PS3 emulation, it does require a beefy setup, to my understanding. Oh, there's no door over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that they do. I have a PS3 emulator on here, and I, I tested it when I got this PC. Seems to run okay. There are doodles all over the portrait. <clears throat> Expensive dishes are arranged in the cupboard. Record player is broken. Red roses are arranged in a vase. They're vibrant and fresh. Just wondering if there's any items I can pick up. I know they want me to go upstairs to follow that little kid, but... I want to explore, goddammit. There's a small model of a mansion inside the tank, but no fish. Something's written in the notebook. March 2nd, 1930. Recently, the children have been engaging in odd activities, spreading disturbing rumors. Rumors about creatures that come after children who don't clean up and stray dogs that kidnap small tots. It's all very bizarre. Uh, because the more advanced um, console you're trying to emulate, the more difficult the emulation is. Shoes, sheets, and food. Various things are stored in the room. They're like emulators or resource hogs. <coughs> Like, emulating a Super Nintendo game is far easier than emulating a um, PlayStation 2 game, for example. Record player and broadcasting equipment. Yep. What Gino said. And even then, due to the custom hardware nature of... Um, consoles <coughs> they can still be very difficult to emulate like despite being older uh the saturn is much more difficult to emulate than the dreamcast due to the custom hardware Oh yeah, no, PS4 emulation has been around for a bit. Same with Xbox One emulation. And Switch emulation is already a thing. And I'm sure people are going to be working on uh, Xbox Series X and uh, PS5 emulation at some point soon, too. The inner court.
Fuck you! <laughs> you little shit. Yep. Yeah, Dreamcast had, like, some of the best arcade ports. Arcade perfect is, I believe, the phrase. Oh, we're back here. Very well, we shall head upstairs now. Just want to explore. You little fuck! <laughs> Stop laughing! I hate you. Holy. Yeah, that, that's I. I would I would I would say the same. PS3's custom architecture is fucking obscene. Dormitory. All right, I'm guessing there's not much to do yet. So I guess we should maybe follow this stupid little kid. Yeah. Similarly, I think, um, once they really nail Xbox One emulation, they'll probably have Series X emulation and down pat, since as far as I know, they're relatively similar. It's a creepy doll tied to the pillar. Oh! Save your game? Yeah, sure, why not? Fuck it. Nothing's really happened, but... Jennifer found old photo. It's faded group photo taken in front of the mansion. Tied tightly with rope. Anything in the toilet? Second floor lavatory. So far, nothing. Except for broken toilets. Yeah, they, uh, almost everything, as far as I'm aware. So, hypothetically, there, there wouldn't be a need to emulate, but I'm sure people will try anyway. You little fuckhead! <laughs> Because, you know, why not? I don't want to go in there. I'm going to go in here. No, this is the dormitory. I don't want to go in here anymore. What's this? Can't interact. You little fuck! Get over here! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> you little fuckhead! Give me a quick second here. storage. 
Scalpel, dental forceps, gloves, scissors, there's blood all over them. Me. Not the next map. I do like this chalkboard aesthetic. Like I said, it's very unique. When the unlucky girl approached the boy, he said, My, aren't you a slowpoke like always? Here, read me the rest of the story. You know, the book I handed you. <laughs> read you the story about slapping you upside the head, you little shit. Uh, yeah, mommy and daddy died. The poor girl, little girl, was sent away to a strange house. At her new home, the aristocrat club lived by the rule of Rose. But the girl found herself very much alone. We will now begin the funeral. Don't we all home still? All those attending, please gather around at this time. Funeral, huh? Come on, Jennifer, the funeral is about to begin. It's a funeral for your dear friend. <laughs> Before she realized it, the boy was gone. And the girl was left in confusion. Okay. James C, thank you for the water. Thank you for throwing shit. Inner court. When the girl went out to the yard, she found a shovel standing before a grave. Can I whack the kid with it? The unlucky girl sensed that something very dear to her was buried here. As it possessed, she began to dig furiously. Can you give it an alert? Just look at you. You're filthy. <laughs> Joining us on our flight. Attention, 
all passengers. We will be taking off in a short while. That's it. Please take all large luggage to section eight of the freight storage compartment. Thank you. April. Okay. April 1930. The unlucky clover field. How do I get out? When the girl awoke, she found herself in a strange room. It was cold, lonely, it was a cold, lonely, stinky room. Yeah, I told you, it's expensive. Hmm, good girl. <laughs> Jennifer, you know you've been a bad, bad girl. And bad girls need to be punished, don't they? Not by you, you little shit. No. Hmm. A bad, bad girl who's not sorry, hmm? Anyway, I'll be the one giving you Like I said, it's one of the here, rarest okay? PlayStation 2 games. order. Every month you need to find a gift and bring it to the aristocrat club. If you don't, I'll kill you. Is there anything about this that you don't understand? I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand any yes? of this shit. Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't really matter what you say. You see, Jennifer, <sighs> There are really only two kinds of people in the world. Those who take orders, and those who give them. And from now on, I'll be giving the orders. Not fair? Well, dear Jennifer, nothing's fair here. <laughs> you will follow my orders or else. <laughs> For I am the prince, and the prince rules. Fuck you, prince. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out, you little fuck! <laughs> you asshole! I hate you! Let's 
quite the uh, contraption you got there, bud. And so... The rope was cut. Snip, snip. And the girl joined the aristocrat club. Congratulations. Congratulations. Can I get those scissors? The scissors are just out of her reach. <clears throat> oh, it looks like you could grab them, Jen. The blackboard is badly smudged and unreadable. As the girl examined the headless scarecrow, it pleaded. Lass, please help me find my head. Once I am whole again, I'll return the favor. Okay. There's a big wooden box covered with dirt and grass. The sack inside is covered in animal hair. When the girl examined the bucket, it pleaded. Lass, please put me back atop my body. Back on top of the headless scarecrow behind you. If you do, I'll help you in return. Yeah, we got a bucket! The girl placed the bucket in its proper place. It spoke. I am the Bucket Knight, Keeper of Promises. Yet time can be so cruel, for I have aged and cannot remember the past. You know what I refer to, and I know that you know. However, you do not know at the moment, nor can you remember. Let us recall our memories together in order to remember our promise. Story hints. When you aren't sure how to proceed, talk to the Bucket Knight. Select Ask for Clues in order to receive a hint about what to do next. Okay. As the girl looked at the rubbish bin, it spoke to her. My belly is as dark as night and as deep as the abyss. Anything in the world that is dropped will be collected inside it. Without stocking items, any item you collect can be stored in the rubbish bin. If you can't find a bin, just select an item from the menu screen and select drop, and the item will be stored there. There's no need to worry about losing it. Oh, oh boy, that's the key to unlock stuff. I will collect the weapons and then dump them in the bin. And then only pull them out. If shit gets super booty. Sector 8, cargo bay. Oh boy. Well, can I read you? You are invited to the Aristocrat Club, Red Crayon Aristocrats. I don't want to. Alright, fine. You little shits! <coughs> so that way to the aristocrat club. 
in which case, fuck you, yeah, I'm going over here. Never mind. What's that noise? First class guest sector. Social rank, refined class. Duchess Diana, Countess Eleanor, Baroness Meg, lower class. Poor Amanda. Beggar Jennifer! I am not a beggar. Red Crayon Royalty. Red Rose Princess, Bear Prince. Duchess, Countess, Baroness. Bourgeoisie, poor and beggar. Rule of gifts. Find a gift of the month. All members must participate. Tardiness, stealing, and cheating are prohibited. Junk, toys, and more. No refunds, only exchange. Red Crayon Aristocrat. Ah! Fuck you, baghead. Bag baby. Ah! Little shits. Assuming it's the same shit over there. The girl has found a strange door. Where does it lead? Check the box. Sure. Strange box is attached to the door. Things can be placed inside of it. Read the poster. This month's gift, a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Open the door. No, let me in! You fucker. As the unlucky girl stood helplessly, the door spoke. Give me a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Is that clear? No gift, no entry. Is that clear? Give me a butterfly. Give me a butterfly. Find one, and you shall be invited to join the Aristocrat Club. Aristocratic assholes. You little shits! Where are your parents? So we're in an airship. Looking through the window, the unlucky girl saw that she was above the clouds. 
The airship slowly swam through the sky, carrying the helpless girl. Sick room. It's a drawing of a large flying fish. It's also a cute picture of children playing happily together. Drawing of a rabbit. Get the impression that it means a lot to its owner. Fresh flying fish. I guess I gotta back out manually. Mm. Sick pain. <clears throat> the unlucky girl met Hoffman, the strict teacher. When Hoffman caught Jennifer looking at him, he snapped at her. Dirty wretch. Why are you always shirking your duties? Fuck you, asshole. You just got here. What duties are you talking about? Don't look in there. The unlucky girl met Clara, the frightened princess. As the princess looked down, she spoke to the girl with a feeble voice. Dirty. Okay. I think it's still a mystery, Gina. Just that somehow I went from whatever that mansion was to an airship. I heard the narrative is, is very much a slow burn. So it might take a while to kind of figure out what the fuck is going on. These little shit kids. Dressing room. <clears throat> I'm very much digging this score, though. Exactly, home skillet. It's a fucking cat jam. Poor helpless and lucky girl, tell me your fate. No. Close. Memory serves me correctly. You are in search of a butterfly. A butterfly you are in search of. Green butterfly is one you wish to follow. Offer the butterfly to the aristocrats. That's your only clue. Poor helpless unlucky girl, tell me your tale. Hey, Cam. No, what's going? We're just playing some Rule of Rose. First playthrough. Uh, it's hard to say. I'm not too far into it, and not a heck of a lot of clear stuff has happened yet. Uh, it's very mysterious, the narrative. I do hear the combat in this game is fucking awful, and that the story is very, very well written. 
and that this game has a lot of defenders because of its atmosphere and its story and and its themes and and, and music and all that fun shit. It's aristocrat salon. Can I go in there? But I hear the combat is terrible. But I haven't gotten to the combat yet. We only just found ourselves on this airship. After being in a mansion. And then getting attacked by a bunch of children. And thrown into a coffin. And then we woke up on an airship. I have no idea what the fuck is going on yet. Chicken police. Ooh, I'll have to look into that then. I like noir. I like detective noir. You little shit, that's my butterfly! You're an NPC, I need it. You don't need shit. Yeah, the only thing I know right now, Kim, is I gotta get a butterfly, otherwise they'll kill me. Mm, interesting. It reminds me, I really want to replay Hotel Dusk. I don't know if you've ever played that. And I, I want to I want to get around to playing its sequel, too. Uh, Last Window, as I believe it's called. But that never got- that never came out in the States. Sadly. Uh, it's a detective noir game that was on the DS, and uh, you. It, the interesting thing about it was you actually had to hold the DS like a book. It was really, really good. Sector 9 turbine area. I would love to play its sequel. Someday. No! Who would do that? I need something to cut that dog down. There's nothing special here. Why would you do that to a dog dog? That's cruel. Airship map. It's a map with doodles all over it. Not the map. You can view a map by selecting it and choosing use option or by pressing the select button. And you can zoom in or out of the map by pressing the square button or scroll using the left analog stick. I mean, there's scissors back in that starting room. They were just out of reach, they said. Maybe, maybe they've dropped now? I don't know. Can I pick up the stool? No, I don't care about the aristocrat club. I care about that dog. The filth room. Give me those scissors, I got a dog to rescue! Jennifer, move the chair. Okay, one day, one day I'll stream Hotel Dusk. Assuming it runs okay on emulation. <clears throat> It was a it was a great fucking game. Can I get over there to actually check the dog? Oh baby. The dog was all alone, tied and hung from the ceiling. No means to cut the rope and free him, the unlucky girl could only stand and watch the poor creature struggle. No. Oh. 
backup parts room. There was nothing in here. Starboard livestock room. The unlucky girl met Eleanor. The princess is cold as ice. Inside the acritic room, the princess shot an icy glare and said, Yes, she is a babe. Ellipses. Well, fine, fuck you too, kid. Cages are small, leaving no room for the fowls to spread their wings. Even so, the birds waddle around busily. Already an intensely sad game. I have no idea what the fuck is going on either. Back to the room with Doggo. I was muted, I don't know how, for how long. <coughs> Sector 11 maintenance. Well, this wall seems to be made of cloth. The smoking room. The unlucky girl met Thomas, the mischievous prince. The prince, who'd been busy with his antics, finally stopped and spoke to the girl. A new girl. A new girl. Do you have anything else to add? <laughs> Thank you, Thomas.
The unlucky girl met Martha, the queen of cleaning. The queen glared at Jennifer as if she were filthier than dirt itself. Filthy wretch. Fuck you! Women's Laboratory. Give me something. Men's Laboratory. The unlucky girl met Xavier, the gluttonous prince. As the prince chewed with his mouth full, he spoke to her. Did you hear the news? Witches must love to clean. They always carry brooms, right? That witch over there has only got rags, though. Well, you should clean up like they do. Or all spooky things will come and do it. Fuck you, kid. Could it because it's be, be because it's cracked? For a moment, the reflection in the mirror it looked like the old orphanage. This is where I came from. New girl. I think I need the scissors for that, but... First thing I'm gonna do when I get those scissors is free that fucking dog. Smoking wood. Stupid little shit kid. Where the fuck did the the, the the other little girl go? The one that we were chasing. Cloverfield. Guest room hole. The unlucky girl met Olivia, the tearful princess. As the princess cried on the girl cried on, the girl gathered her courage and spoke to her. The tearful princess just cried on and on. What is you? Give me. Copper leaf. Shaped like a leaf. Could it be part of something else? Four leaf clover. I think this is the bonus room? It be! Alright, what weapons do we get access to that I'm just going to toss in the bin immediately? Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh, we got a Master Umbrella. Oh. This. Should be in the bin, right? Costume's kind of neat.
All right, drop this. Find it with the key somewhere. Presumably that's a two leaf clover. Green butterfly is on the ground. Pick the butterfly? Oh, hello. You deserve to be cobbled up. Fucking rude? Fork with sharp prongs. About equipping items. Some items can be equipped just as as weapons. Just check to see if the equip option is available when you select the item in, on the menu screen. Our first weapon's a dessert fork? It's dead green butterfly. Its wings are tattered. Mostly fallen off. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna poke you. Hey, fork you. Over shield, huh? I doubt it. Yeah, she she is no solid snake with a fork. Small child, I shall murder you with this fork. Apparently not. Can I get a pair of scissors now so I can rescue that poor dog? Please. Please. No use option. Maybe I have to deliver the green butterfly first. I'll free you, friend. Sometimes enemies will jump out and impede Jennifer's progress. Hold down the R1 button, ready for combat, and press X to attack. You'll inflict greater damage if you have a weapon equipped. Getting hit or grabbed by enemies will deplete your health. To shake them off, quickly move the left analog stick back and forth. If you keep taking damage, you'll slow down and eventually collapse, and the game will end. So remember to replenish your health by using recovery items after taking damage. Uh, get away from me. Can't open that. Fuck you, little kid. I'm not fighting you. Not with this fork. Give me a bat. I got a butterfly to deal with. Fine, I'll go back and fork it. Child reading aloud could be heard faintly. The unlucky girl listened. You got a safe state.
React little shit. Huh? There you are. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. He dead? No, it's not dead. Mm, mm. That wasn't too bad. But it was like a one on one. The range on this thing is pitiful. Jennifer's just like, no, I'm not getting near it. Mm, mm, mm. Jojo's, Jojo's throwing a fit. Okay, so she's restarting it. There's glass guest sector. Alright. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna take care of Jojo real quick. BRB. Three reading. Oh, again. It's a sick room. Sick bay. Shadows. Alright. Uh, make an offering. The gift box said to the gr unlucky girl, You call this a beautiful butterfly? Are you blind? Give me a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. And then you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. <laughs> you little shits! Clover adorns the end of it. Wait, does that mean I can go in the library now? You little fucks made a mess of things. Who's gonna clean all this up? Okay. <gasps> in front of the unlucky girl stood a man in a brown coat that she had never seen before. The man quietly handed her a storybook. 
the clover field. Once upon a time, there was an unlucky girl. All she wanted was to be happy, so she went to a clover field. She found a one-leaf clover, but she dropped it on the road. She found a th yeah, it's the same story that the little girl was saying. Which hid it away. It was too unlucky. And the man is gone. It's like that. The movie? No, I have not watched Clue. I, I remember seeing bits of it on TV as a kid, but I never I've never sat down and watched the whole thing. Can I free that dog? That's where I was. Strange button. Uh, I said I I've seen bits of it as a kid, but I've never sat down and watched the whole thing, if you're referring to the Clue movie. The, the one with Tim Curry. kid. I think I was on vacation or something. It was on my TV or whatever. Oh, cool. Neat. Yeah, I know it's a, a cult classic and a lot of people love it. I know it also has like multiple endings because of uh, it's based on Clue. So the unlucky girl examined the scissors. They suddenly spoke. No thanks necessary. No thanks necessary. You might have been better off being bound than being feel free to feel pain. So scary. Tell me your tale. That's neat that it's free on YouTube. I'm assuming, like, officially free, not like somebody uploaded it to YouTube and nobody's taken it down yet. Like, uh, the George Romero. Dawn of the Dead. Which is not available for streaming fucking anywhere. Uh, copper leaf. Leaping butterfly. I see can dump a map in there. Free with ads! Turn on ad blocker. I don't want no stinking ads. The unlucky girl cut the ropes with the scissors and freed the dog. Free from captivity, the dog seemed quite happy. 
However, the dog stood there and wouldn't move. Looked up at the girl as if wanting something. Waiting for her reaction. Brown. Brown. <laughs> Giving commands to Brown. Command to come, press the circle button to order Brown to come to Jennifer. Stay. Uh, press the square button. Brown can track down items by following their scent. Have Brown track an item by smelling the box on the shelf for starters. Biscuit tin. Use the find command, open the menu screen, and select an appropriate item, then close the menu screen and press a uh, triangle button. During the tutorial, the biscuit tin cannot be dropped. Can I pet him? I want to pet the dog. Let me pet the dog. I guess maybe not, because of the tutorial. Biscuit tin. Find. When find is used correctly, you'll discover hidden items like this. Jennifer found a biscuit. Biscuit has been found. We now know that the scent of a biscuit is linked uh, of a biscuit tin is linked to a biscuit. When you select the biscuit tin from the menu screen, you'll see biscuit listed under find target. There might be more biscuits nearby. Let's triangle to find again. But can I pet him? Go. As long as hidden items are nearby, you can continue to use the find command. Press triangle again to find another item. Seems there are no other items in the area that can be found with the biscuit tin. Brown can't find anything, you'll be able to tell by his gestures. Also, if search fails in one area, try another. Keep an eye on find target list as well as Brown's gestures. This concludes the find tutorial. Can I pet Brown? How do I pet? How doth pet? This is important, I need to look this up. Uh, you pet the dog in all of rows. You can pet him. How doth pet? Uh, Okay, so I do it with the circle button. And maybe I can't pet him yet? Alright. 
we'll figure it out. Stock room. Bacon. Come. Good brown. you have for me, Brownington? Found a ribbon. Interesting. Lovely ribbon. find something with this up to I guess not you for now because I need space I want to find more shit Go! El Hef Yardo how doth you do Hef a Yardo Doth you do well? Hefe, thank you for the Garmin Bozia. Found another ribbon. Good brown. Enjoy your wake up. Hopefully you have some coffee to go with the waking up. All right, already Brown is joining the Good Boys Club. Found another ribbon, huh? I wonder what the ribbon does. Where doth you lead me? I will follow you into the bowels of hell, bro. Starboard livestock group. Another ribbon. Fiona, thank you for shutting up, Jeff here. Uh, all right. We haven't found the third thing yet. Presumably, we can find a good butterfly with that butterfly. But let's use the ribbon now. Let's see what we can find. Go. This is a neat idea, although I can see this potentially getting a bit tiresome or time-consuming. 
if every item is hidden and you need Brown to find it. But Brown is already a good boy, so I will accept it. chocolate Go. no brown Just being a rascal a little boy right now. Eight of fourteen, huh? Well, I gotta drop some shit. Go! Okay. Drop you for now. I guess I didn't need to drop the chocolate. Okay. I wonder what sorts of wacky shit we can find. And we do have that one key that we can use. Oh. 
Goodbye, lady. Okay. <clears throat> What we got? This key with a single leaf seems to be incomplete. Oh, it's a two-leaf clover key again. Copper leaf was attached to the key. A two-leaf key! I mean, it could be. How's it going, cat? Find me something brown. Eat booty key. Buzzbot knows what's up. It knows not to change the important things. Wait. Aren't you, I thought you... You wig out on me? Oh. oh, I guess it just finds the one leaf door. Okay. All right. All right. You, you, you got me. Oh boy, another ribbon. I can't tie it around an oak tree though, because it's not yellow. Why is your face burning, Cass? Do not let your face burn. Can I bet you now? I want to hug him. Brown. 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 This upsets me. I know it can be done. It just won't let me do it. Shit, kids. We're in the toilet. Men laboratory. Anything spooky in here? Well, there's this little kid. Ellipses. Where are your parents?
Alright. I guess we can use that dead butterfly. I don't know what the fuck ribbon does. Brownington! Find me a butterfly that is not dead. I need it so I won't die myself. But they won't let me in here! Come. Guess we gotta go to the two leaf room. Come to me, Brownington. There's the two-leaf door. There's the two-leaf door. First passenger corridor. in here. Cafeteria. Quick save, been a while. Oh, speak of the devil. A proper save point. Brownington! Find me biscuits. Well, we can't get through, it seems. Home school it. Thank you. For the Garmon Bolzia. Well, so far, there's only been one enemy. So it hasn't been too bad. Hello? A paring knife, yes! Yes! <laughs> can we equip the paring knife? Yes, we can! <laughs> You're dead to me, Fork! Get out of my sight. Yes! We shall slash our way to victory, Brahan. Uh, no, there's no other doors here. Frustrating. Okay. something. I guess we haven't finished everything in the second class, qu class corridor. Because I don't think we can go too much into the first class. So we get the three leaf. Alright. I 
guest room hall. Oh, yes. Martha's hat! Hat worn by Martha. Was accused of being a witch. Brown! Why did you say that name? Find Martha! Why did you say that name? Oh? A dirty rag. Smells rank. In the dark room, the unknown occupant spoke in a shrill voice. It was a mighty witch, yet now I am but a powerless wretch. Rubbish and dust! My precious, precious key, I hid it secretly. I hid it in a pure and dirty place. I hid it secretly. Your eyes cannot find it. You are truly a poor, unlucky girl. Uh, Brown can find it. All right. Brown is a good boy. All right. And we're going to find it. You, 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 you dusty old witch. I don't know if I need to do that yet. Go. Find me the key, Brownington. You little shit! Not you, Brown. You're perfect in every way. You know, even though it's the same violin song on loop, it's a very pretty violin song. At least I think it's violin. Roundsworth, we must depart to the Sector 10 crew cabin. And Cat, somebody tied up poor Brown. It was awful. I had to rescue Brown. He was hung upside down by his little paws and his snout was tied up too. Poor Brown. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Good brown! Come. The three-leaf key. Please let me hug you, Brown. How do I hug you? Except I have to be lined up. Come. I have to be behind you? Brown. Wait, maybe you have to be in the stay? Come. No. Brown. Whatever, it's fine. I will figure out a way to pet this dog, goddammit. You're a jerk. Good brown. Brown is a hell of a lot more obedient right at the gate than uh, Huey was in Hunting Ground. Though well, Huey was also a good boy. Interessante.
locked. Wendy locked. Una. Oh shit, Thomas playing with stupid train. Choo choo. Nicola. Marjibel. Hmm. Let's see where that, yeah, that was the door. So this is the area that was blocked off. And we saw someone run over yonder. There is light coming from this room. Excuse me? The unlucky girl met Amanda, the small-hearted princess. The princess's round face loomed large as she spoke to the girl. I found this butterfly. It's mine. I won't give it to you. I won't lose to you. What if I give you this butterfly? Nothing happened. Go! You dirty newcomer, out with you. Brown found a butterfly, but we can't get it. And they did say no stealing. Jesus Christ. Empty insect case. Which butterfly used to be displayed? Found a butterfly case. I think I can drop these, I hope, and since they just find the door. Go! But God. The God of the butts. Also, why did Amanda go this way? Whatever, it's fine. Brownington! My companion. A blue butterfly. No butterfly. 
I, I, I am your little butterfly. Two of them! Surely when if I can grab them both. Three, four! Oh my goodness. I don't trust this. Brownington, get over here. Oh my god, so many butterflies. Cat, are all the wars over? All the wars must be over. There's that many butterflies around. And they're all beautiful. Come to me. The girl found a beautiful blue butterfly. The butterfly would surely make a satisfactory gift. What you need to do is catch it and take it to the gift box. Jesus Christ. Waste, waste paper, rubbish bin, and the laundry in the filth room. Stray dog gives us sweets. Stray dog kidna kidnaps kids. Stray dog comes at night. Children who don't clean up will be punished. Hello, boys and girls. It's time for some cleaning. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Very beautiful. Uh, get away from me! My slide bud? Oh, fuck, there's more of them. Don't you touch my dog! Get off me! You heinous little fuck! Yeah, stomp in his head! All right, we took a little bit of damage. Eh. Oh my god. Get away from me, you heinous little fuck. Die in your filth. You fucking sidestep me. Oh shit, there seems to be infinite. Brown, come on, let's get out of here. Jeff, have a good day at work. You have a little bit of health. No! You heinous little fox! They're coming out of the woodwork. Oh, no, they're here, too. Uh, I went the wrong way, I think. No, this is the livestock room! There's nothing like livestock in here. Yeah, the combat is kind of shitty. Get away from me, you little foul beast! Especially with this dinky ass knife, and they're so fucking tiny. Excuse me.
Alrighty. Brown, don't bark at them. They're not worth our time. These dusty little golem children. That one is wearing a mouse head? Oh, Jesus, fuck. Damn you, stray dog. And you vile golem children. I'm assuming they're stray dog's kids. I don't fucking know. I don't really know what the fuck is going on in this game yet. <clears throat> oh goody, it's the creepy kid. Natalie! How's it going, Nat? How was your stream? Make an offering. Take my blue butterfly. Nice, I'm glad. I don't know. Oh, why not? What? <sighs> it's her first time. Yeah, she's new. So, pass? Okay. Hello? Hey! Club. Thank you all for gathering here today. Disgrace. Fucking rude. Nothing worse than nothing. Your gift is worth nothing. Fuck you. Amanda. Bunch of little shits. Yes, I would like to say. Uh, apparently, my gift was worth nothing, so I got penaltied. I don't generally know what's going on in the story quite yet, but um, 
I have to produce a gift for the Aristocrats Club once a month. Failure to produce a gift can result in my death. And providing a shit gift will result in punishment. As to why they're they're little kids, I I, I don't know. Cause I'm like, I, I believe my character is supposed to be nineteen. Uh, when the unlucky girl awoke, she was back in the strange room. Cause those kids look like young teenagers. The boy in white clothes looked down with knowing eyes and spoke to her. Well, do you remember now? Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. You haven't gotten your memory back yet. Well, you've really done many, many bad things. You'll just have to remember them little by little. And when you fully remembered what a bad girl you were, this game will end. Now take your stupid dog and continue with our little game, dear Jennifer. <laughs> Don't call Brown stupid, he's a good boy! May 1930. Sir Peter. Good brown. <laughs> yeah, we should overthrow the aristocrat club. Floral letter. I am so sorry, Jennifer. Meet me where you can see the sky. Your friend, Amanda. Why, oh, you're right there. Come on in! Tell me your tale. Starting item. Let's see here. Dirty rag. It's like my health recovered between chapters. Okay, you know what? We'll use the fifth slot. Brannington, let's go! Also, I guess we need to find out what these shithead aristocrats want. Hey, you fuckheads, what are you doing? Where are your parents? The girl tried to get his attention, but the gluttonous prince ignored her. Fuck you then, bud. <clears throat> Engine 3 maintenance. I suppose I should really spam items. I might I might do a lot of that off stream. Item farming. For like like health items and whatnot, as long as it doesn't lead to progression. Good boy Brown. 
you have done well. Since that does seem very, very, very tedious. I don't know, there are boss fights. So, I'll need to stock up on healing items and whatnot. better weaponry than this dinky ass knife. It was a dark and starless night. Looking closely, you can see someone moving on the faint. Joe just freaking out, and it is midnight. Good brown. Come. Oh. I think we're in the lore. find out what the aristocrats want me to get, and then I'll end stream. That'll be a good stopping point. I do have theories. I don't want to mull them over. Uh, read the poster. One horned Peter. What the fuck is a one horned Peter? figure that shit out later because uh it's midnight and joe just freaking out i'm very curious to see where this goes
Already brown is fantastic. And I'm getting this sense of overwhelming sadness. Uh, I'm going to send y'all over to Karachi san who's doing some escape from Tarkov. Anyways, Natalie, thank you for the raid. Uh, and everybody else, thank you for stopping by. Kat, Gino, Jeff, uh, Cam, uh, Home Skillet. I think that's just about everybody. Yeah, and hopefully we can get back to this soon. I'm very curious. Y'all have a good night and take care of yourselves, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye, 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 bye.